Evelyn, welcome to stage, standing together against God's enemy. And as we come this evening, I just want to encourage each and every one of us, let us continue to pray for each other. Let us continue to pray for our children, pray for our nation, pray for the elderly, continue to pray for those who are struggling, even now. This evening, I just want to give a short word of encouragement, I pray that is a blessing. The song that you hear playing in the background is just for inspirational purpose. It is by Maverick City and Elevation Worship called Wait and You. So as the song play in the background, I just want to give this word of encouragement. And I'm reading Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Tonight, the Lord want me to encourage someone to say, hold on to God. Change is coming. Yes, we know that we are living in a time and we seem like all hell is breaking loose all around us. It seems like everything that uh, could go wrong had gone wrong. But God is saying for us to hold on. Don't give up. Hold on to God and not to give up. Uh, you know, this message, it might not be for everyone. It's more for the believers uh, that they are going through. And God wants them to just to encourage them and say, hold on. Don't know who you may be, but God is saying to you, hold on. Don't give up. Don't give up because he's there waiting and willing to help you. So don't give up on God. Don't let the situation uh, seem that seems so hard don't let it stop you don't let it stop you from trusting in God don't let it stop you from uh, asking and praying to God for help continue to ask God for help continue to knock at the door continue to ask God to just to see you through the situation so I pray that this word will be an inspiration to you to not give up and to hold on now the Bible tell us in Psalms 30 and verse 4 and 5, it says, Sing praise to the Lord, he saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Your joy is coming, so don't give up. It may seem like all things is, can go wrong have gone wrong. It may seem like, as I said, hell had broken loose. And there is no hope. But God is still in control. Hold on. Don't give up. When the enemy is telling you that no one's care to give up. That there's no one uh, concerned or care about you. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy. It is a lie from the pits of hell. God do care about you. God do care about you. And God wants you to know for you to hold on this evening. God is saying hold on. Don't give up. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy and give up on God. God have not given up on you, so don't give up on God. It doesn't matter what the situation, how bad things may get. Continue to trust God and God will see you through. Hold on. Change is coming. When we read uh, Habakkuk, who had a burden, he was one who saw the good things, the good times and the bad times. He saw a great revival and was seeing the decline of the people of God. He was seeing tiredness. He was seeing weariness and the lack of energy in Judah. Habakkuk said, Lord, how long shall I cry and you will not hear? Yes, we too may ask the Lord, how long must we cry out to you before you answer us? Habakkuk said, I even cry out to you, violent, and you will not save. He continued, why do you show me iniquity and cause me to see trouble? Habakkuk 1, 2 and 3. Yes, at times it seems like the more we cry out to the Lord, the more trouble we see and face. When we look into our nation, we see even as Habakkuk had saw in his nation in Judah then. We see the violent and the injustice all around us as he did and wondering where is God and why is he not making things right. Sometimes God allow us to see iniquity and trouble to keep us humble and submitted to him, knowing it is by his grace why we are saved. 
Habakkuk was seeing sins and trouble everywhere as you and I may be seeing it, sins and trouble all around, everywhere, even in our church. But God wants me to tell you, don't give up. Wait on the Lord. I know for sure that God is going to make things right. So let us not give up. Let us learn to wait on God. The Lord said to Habakkuk, write the vision and make it plain and tablet, that he may run who read it. For the vision is yet for our appointed time, but at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. God is saying, write the vision. Wait for it. Though it tarry, wait for it. He wants us to wait. What is the vision that the Lord gave you? Is it for you to write it? If the Lord said it, He will do it. Though it tarry, it will come to pass. As believers, we believe by faith. We live by faith and not by sight. The Bible tells us our God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Had he said, and, and will he not do? Or had he spoken, and will he not make it good? Yes, God will make it good. Whatsoever God said he will do, he will do it. He told me to tell you, Hold on, don't give up, a change is coming. Don't give up, a change is coming. God wants you to be encouraged and hold on to Him. Don't give up, a change is coming. We must take Him at His word. His word will never return void, but will accomplish that which the Lord had pleased. It will prosper in the things wherefore He sent it, whereto He sent it. He is saying His word. He sent his word and he's sending his word to you and I and saying to us, don't give up, hold on, change is coming. Though it tarry, continue to hold on. Don't let the enemy tell you otherwise. Hold on, change is coming. Things might be rough, but God wants us to hold on and not to lose heart. Let us not grow weary or faint hearted. It is not time to give up or to get discouraged. Don't give up. Hold on. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. As a believer, we all should know this verse. He said, For I know the plan I have for you, declared the Lord. Plan to prosper you and not to harm you. Plan to give you a hope and a future. Hold on. Your future is bright in the Lord as long as you hold on to the Lord and don't give up. No one can take away the plan that the Lord has for you and for your life. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make it straight, your path straight. God, we just have to acknowledge God. Continue to acknowledge Him. Do not turn away from Him, but continue to put your trust and hope in God. Put your trust in the Lord and no others. Meaning that you are going to hold on to the Lord. No matter how bad the situation might get, how rough things might get, put your hope in Him and trust in Him and He will see us through. Deuteronomy 31 and verse 8 tell us, It is the Lord who goes before you, not me, not no other, but God that go before you. He will be with you. He will be with us. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Let nothing cause you to be afraid or get dismayed, knowing that it is the Lord that go before us. He is the one who go with us. Here again the Lord is saying to us, Don't lose courage, because He is the one that is going before you and I. And He will never leave us nor forsake us. Hold on to the Lord and all shall be well. Having a hard time paying bills? Hold on to the Lord and don't give up. Having problem in your marriage? Hold on to the Lord and don't give up. Having job problem? Hold on to the Lord and don't give up. Having health problem? Hold on to the Lord and don't give up. Debt all around you? Hold on to the Lord and don't give up. Problem in the home? Hold on and don't give up. Problem in the church? Hold on and don't give up. Hold on, change is coming. We just have to learn to wait 
and wait on God because God timing and our timing is two different timing. God is a God that always work on time. Though we might see that he's taking forever, but his timing is right on time. God want me to tell you and tell myself not to give up, to hold on and know that our future will be bright. Our future is secure in him. Job 11, 16 to 20 read, Because you would forget your misery, and remember it as water that had passed away, and your life would be brighter than noonday. Though you were dark, though you were dark, you would be like the morning, and you would be secure, because there is hope. Yes, you would dig around and take your rest in safety. You would also lie down, and no one would make you afraid. Yes, many would court your favor, but the eyes of the wicked will fail, and they shall not escape, and they hope lost for life. Our hope is in the Lord. Your hope is in the Lord. Wait on the Lord, knowing that He will see you through. Your hope is in the Lord. He promised to give you a hope and a future. Yes, hope in the Lord and hold on to His word. A change is coming and no one can stop it from happening. Only you alone by if you give up. Don't give up. Hold on. Change is coming. So I pray and hope that these words of encouragement may be a blessing to you. Hold on to God and don't give up. He is there to fight for you. He is there to see you through. Doesn't matter what the situation that you are facing. God is saying to you and I, hold on. Don't give up. Wait on Him. Wait on Him. Wait on the Lord and He will see you through. Doesn't matter what. Lost a loved one? Wait on God. Lost your job? Wait on God. Oh, relationship is not going well? Wait on God. Just continue to trust the Lord and He will see you through. Doesn't matter what the situation, God is saying to wait on Him. Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, but wait on the Lord. He will see you through. He will see you through. He tell me to tell you to wait on Him. To wait on Him. Brethren, this is a word of encouragement to the brethren. For them to wait on the Lord. And to keep their hope in Him. Knowing that whatever He promised you, He will see it come through. So wait on the Lord as I pray. Eternal, most righteous, Heavenly Father. I come before you even now to give you praise, to give you the honor, and to give you the glory. You are God and you are sovereign. God, teach us to wait on you, O God. Father God, you said, O God, they that wait upon the Lord shall mount up like an eagle, O God. Father God, I thank you, O God, that you have a plan for us, dear God. Father God, that you are saying for us to wait on you, O God, that your timing, O God, is always on time, dear God. Though it might tarry, O God, but Father God, is for us to wait, Father God. Father God, even as Daniel had prayed, O God, you said, Father God, that from the day he prayed, O God, that you heard and sent the answer, but the Prince of Persia had hold back the answer, O God. And Father God, even now, God, many of us are waiting for our answer, O God, but Father God, our answer is on the way. And I thank you, O God, that you, O God, God, are the one who will, will fight in our battle, O God. So, Father God, though things may seem rough at times, dear God, but God, our hope and trust is in you, O God, and you will see us through, O God. So, I thank you, O God, that you are mindful of us, O God, to send us this word of encouragement, O God, to hold on to you, O God, and not to give up, O God. Do not listen to the lie of the enemy, O God, but to hold on to your word, O God. You said, God, you is not a man that you should lie, O God, and whatever you say, O God, that you will see it come through, O God. So, Father God, teach us to hold on and to wait on you, O God. So, Father God, I pray right now, God, for anyone who is listening to this, Father God, that they will learn to hold on and put their faith and trust in you, O God, and you will see them through, O God. Father, touch mind and heart even now, God. Even those who may not know you, O God, I pray, O God, if they, as they hear this word, O God, that they will surrender their life to you, O God, and know, O God, as they surrender their life to you, O God, that you have a plan for them, O God, for them to wait on that plan that you have for them, dear God. So, Father God, I pray, O God, that this word, O God, will touch heart even now, God, in the name of Jesus. Remember, O God, those who are sick, Father God, in mind, body, and spirit, O God. Father God, you are the healer divine, dear God. 
God. Father God, you are the one who can heal, O oh God. And Father God, right now, God, I pray that your healing virtue will go forth even now, God, throughout the land, dear God, and touch your people, O oh God. Father God, I pray, O oh God, that they will hold on to you, O oh God. Though their body might be in pain, O oh God, help them to hold on to you, O oh God, and not to give up, O oh God. Father God, whatever the pain may be, O oh God, whatever the illness may be, O oh God, help them to hold on to you, O oh God, and not give up, dear God, knowing, dear God, that you have a plan for their future. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, remember the elderly ones tonight, dear God. Father God, remember, oh God, our children tonight, dear God. Father God, remember, oh God, those who are in the, oh Father God, in the hospital tonight, dear God. Father God, those who are our first responders tonight, dear God. Touch, oh God, right now, God. Father God, we pray right now that you go from land to land, oh God, through, oh God, to and fro throughout the land, dear God. Touch, heal, and deliver, set free, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Free them, oh God, from their captivity, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you are God and you are sovereign and I bless you even now God in the mighty name of Jesus have your own sweet way we pray Father God right now God we pray oh God for those who are grieving the loss of a loved one oh God Father God over the last oh God few days oh God many souls have, have perished dear God many ones have lost loved one dear God and Father God I pray right now God that you comfort their heart dear God that oh God that you embrace them oh God with your Holy Spirit dear God help them oh God to take hold of you oh God and to hold on to you, O oh God. Father God, I pray right now, God, that they will not put their faith and trust in man, O oh God, or in this nation, O oh God, but they will put their faith and trust in you, O oh God, knowing that you will see them through, O oh God. Oh, Father God, I pray right now, God, that you have your way right now, God, in their life, dear God. Touch that mother, oh God, who lost a son, oh God, or a daughter, oh God. Touch, oh God, that wife, oh God, who lost a husband, or that husband who lost a wife, dear God. Comfort their heart, dear God. Father God, touch that person, oh God, who lost a cousin, oh God, or a sister, or a brother, oh God. Comfort their heart, dear God. There are men who are grieving the loss of a loved one, dear God. Whether it be a grandmother, a grandfather, a niece, a nephew, a cousin, or brother a sister or god a friend oh god father god someone is grieving tonight dear god and i pray right now god that you'll comfort their heart dear god in the mighty name of jesus father god i even pray even know god for the churches dear god father god we pray right now god that the church will come together as one dear god knowing dear god that we are here oh god to do your will and not the will of man dear god Father God, that the church will stand, O oh God, and preach your word, O oh God, in this time that we are living, O oh God. Word of encouragement, O oh God. Word for us, O oh God, to draw close to you, O oh God, and have us prepared to meet our maker, O oh God. Father God, help us not to have itching ears, O oh God, but God, to hear your word, O oh God. Father God, your unadulterated word, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us to preach your word in and out of season, O oh God. Father God, help us to wait on you, O God. God, help us to wait on you, O God. Help us to wait on you, O God. O God, I bless you and I thank you, O God. I thank you, O God, that you are always mindful of us, dear God. Father God, I'm thankful unto you, O God, that you are always thinking of us, dear God. Even when we are not thinking of you, you are always thinking of us, dear God. Father God, you wake us up this morning, dear God, and give us breath, dear God. You didn't have to do it, but because of your grace and mercy, O God, you extend, O God, unto us life, O God, that we might get it right with you, O God. So, Father God, I pray, O God, if we are not living right, O God, for us to make it right with you, O God, because that can come knocking at any time, dear God. And if we do not know you as Lord and Savior, O God, I pray, O God, right now, Father God, that, O God, that we will come to know you as Lord and Savior because there's nothing greater than to live for you and to live with you, O God. Father, we thank you and we bless you. Father, have thine own way, we pray, in no other name but in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to keep you. And just wait on the Lord. Be of, in, be of courage, knowing that God have a greater plan for your life. God want to do what he say he will do, and that is to give you a, a future and a hope. God bless you. Stay safe. Thank you, Jesus. Wait, 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 wait. All glory be to your name, God. 
We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, oh God, we bless your name, God. Wait, wait, wait on the Lord Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 I bless your holy name, Jesus. You are holy, you are holy, and you are righteous. There is no one like you, O God. Wait on you, O God. Help us wait on you, O God. Oh, hallelujah, God, hallelujah. When we wait on you, O God, we shall mount up, O God, with wings, O God, like eagle, O God. We shall run and not be weary, O God. We shall walk and not faint, O God. Oh, hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Teach us to wait on you, O God. Teach us to wait, teach us to wait, O God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless your name, God. Have your way, God, have your way, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, O God. You are worthy, 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 O God. There is no one like you, O God. There is no one like you, O God. And I thank you, O God. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I bless your holy name, God. You are worthy, 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 O God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah to your name, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless your name, God. Teach us to wait, O God. Teach us to wait, O God. Teach us to wait in you, O God. O God, because you will mount us up, O God. Father God, you said to wait, to wait, to wait in you, O God. Father, we bless your name, Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, O God. There is none like you, O God. I bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory be to your name, God. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you right now, God. There is no one like you, O God, and I worship you right now, God. God, I worship you, O God, in spirit and in truth, O God. Have your way, O God, in the name of Jesus. I bless your holy name, God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, O God. I bless you, O God, and I thank you, O God. I thank you, O God. I thank you, O God. Hallelujah, O God. O hallelujah, Jesus. I shabak you, O God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I exalt you, O God. I magnify your name, Jesus. I bow before you, O God, and I reverence you, O God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, 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 O God. I thank you, O God, I thank you, and I bless your name, Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, O God. There is no one like you, O God. I bless you, O God, and I worship you, O God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus, we bless your name, God. Oh, hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Oh, God, I bless you. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus, you are worthy, 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 oh, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, I bless you, I bless you, oh, God. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Teach us to wait, oh, God, teach us to wait, oh, God. Teach us to wait in you, oh, God. Teach us, oh, God, to wait, oh, God. Teach us to wait, oh, God. Teach us to watch and pray, O oh God. Teach us to watch and pray, O oh God, and wait in you, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, O oh God. I thank you, O oh God. I thank you, O oh God. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. You are worthy, you are worthy, O oh God. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. You are worthy, O oh God. There is none like you, O oh God. I bless your holy name, Jesus. Have your way, God, have your way, Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, O oh God, there is none like you. O oh God, teach us to wait in you, O oh God. Teach us not to give up, O oh God. Help us not to give up, O oh God. Lord, help us to hold on to our faith in you, O oh God, because you will see us through, O oh God. Lord God, you said to Simon Peter that the devil is out to sift him as wheat, O oh God, but you pray that his faith fail not, O oh God, and when he's converted, he will strengthen their brother, O oh God. So help us, O oh God, to hold on to our faith, O oh God, knowing that when we overcome, Father God, we're able to strengthen our brother, O oh God. So teach us to wait, O oh God, patiently, O oh God, and to hold on to our faith in you, O oh God. 
Oh God, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. I thank you, oh God. Oh God, thank you. Thank you, Lord, 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 thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. You are worthy, 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 oh God. There is none like you, oh God. I bless you, I bless you, O oh God. Have your way, O oh God, in this land, Father God. Go to and fro, O oh God, the land, dear God. Teach us to wait in you, O oh God. Teach us to trust you, O oh God. Teach us to hope in you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. You are our way maker, O oh God. Father God, you are the one who opened up the Red Sea, O oh God, that your children will pass through on dry ground, Father God. So even now, God, whatever Red Sea that we are facing, dear God, that you will open that we go through, O oh God. Father God, you was with Daniel in the lion's den, O oh God. Though we might be in the lion's den, yet, O oh God, the lion will not harm us, dear God, because you are with us, O oh God. He said, though, though, Father God, you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, O oh God, we shall fear no evil. Why? Because you are with us, dear God. Father God, we thank you and we bless you, O oh God. Lord, as the three who were was in the fire with furnace, dear God. But God, they came out, O oh God, without even a smell, a smell of smoke, a fire upon them, O oh God, because you was in the midst with them, dear God. So are you in the midst with us, dear God. Father God, even now, God, we put our hope and trust in you. And I thank you. I bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.